Hello, I welcome you to this Lumion Tutorial Masterclass. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can get started with Lumion. And this video is specifically for people that have never used Lumion before. Perhaps this is the first day you are using Lumion. Then this video is for you. And we are going to be using Revit and Lumion together. Now I have launched my Revit and I have also launched my Lumion. You can see my Lumion here. My Lumion is launched on the same computer. So this is how your Lumion interface will be when you launch it for the first time. If I want to start a new project, there are several ways I can go about it. I can open a new project. I can start from examples. I can start from an existing project that I have already created. But for you that have not done Lumion before, I recommend you start from new. You can as well start from example. For instance, if I click on example, these are files by Lumion. You can start from any of these projects, but on a condition where your computer is strong. If your computer is not strong enough, because these projects you are seeing are very heavy. If your computer is not strong enough, it will be very slow. It will slow down. So, if you are not sure of the strength of your system, if your system is not strong enough, then I don't recommend you start from any of these example projects. I recommend you start from new. And if you click on new, you will see these backgrounds. You see plain. You see mountain range. You see forest environment. You see suburb environment. You see tropical environment. And you see white environment. And even as you are here, it also depends on the strength of your system. If your system is not strong enough, then you may not be able to use this forest environment and uh, all these ones. They, all these ones are very heavy. These ones are very heavy. By the time you start, your system will slow down. So if your system is not very strong enough, you can start from this plane or mountain range. For instance, if I want to start from plane, I simply select it and it will start loading Lumion templates. Let's wait for it to load. Now Lumion has loaded and this is the first page we are seeing. This is like the center of the wall. Lumion is very wide and such that it can accommodate the whole city. We can't see the end. It's like the universe. Okay. So if we want to place our model now, we will place it somewhere here. And if, for instance, you are using Revit, it's a question of going to your Revit. And you have to be on 3D for you to be able to load it to Lumion. The fastest way you can load your project to Lumion is using Lumion Live Sync. If you have installed Lumion Live Sync on your system, it will show on your Revit tab like this, like you are seeing my own now. So if I want to load this 
project to Lumion now. I simply click on this Lumion tab. Your, your own may not have it yet unless you have installed it on your system. Okay, so as I click on this Lumion tab now, you see the Live Sync tools. Okay, this one you can use it to export to Coloda file. If you export to Coloda file, you can import Coloda file from your folder to Lumion. And this one looks like a playhead. If I play it now, it's going to load this project to Lumion automatically. And even if Lumion is not open at the background, once you play this, it's going to launch Lum Lumion. But since my Lumion is open at the background now, if I play it now, it's going to load it into Lumion. You will sit down. I'll play it. Let's watch and see what is going to happen. Okay, now it's playing. Now you can see it's like a playhead. If I want to stop it, I click on stop live sync. Now I minimize my Revit interface now. You can see it is already loaded into Lumion. You can see it here. It's automatically loaded to Lumion. Can you see that? Can you see? As I'm zooming backward now, you can see. It's already loaded into Lumion. So that is one of the ways you can load your project to Lumion. You can use Live Sync. Okay? And I hope with this video, should be able to get started with Lumion conveniently and that is if you have live synchronization installed on your Revit okay thank you for watching this video and see you in the next video bye